Living the life that I'm living This is the life that I have and it's given to you Yeah, and it's true Lottie Dot, Twinkly D To you, the belief in a girl like me So this is the one for you to be with But when I'm caught all alone I start fessing It's from state of depression And in the thunderclouds of doubt moving I begin to wonder Do you still love me? But after that, my whole world is beautiful Lady Wildcat basketball season was another success. We ended up with a record of 22 and 7, uh, and I contribute that to the hard work on the part of our girl basketball players. Uh, we started three juniors and two sophomores, went into district tournament play. Uh, the district was held at our gym this year at Edmondson County. We beat Allen County in the first round of the district tournament and then beat Barron County in the finals of the district. First district championship ever uh, in the school's history in girls basketball so you know another big uh, another big stepping stone for the lady cap program Started the season off uh, with a lot of unknown questions. Uh, we graduated four starters off last year's uh, district championship team, and we had one returning starter, uh, Lonnie Winston. And uh, you know, we entered the season playing probably our toughest schedule we've played in the years that I've been the head coach here. So we went into district tournament play. Uh, we, played Allen, we played Allen County Scottsville, which was uh, you know the top team in our district. And, it was a very hard-fought hard ball game. Uh, we led early in the game, but then they come on to take us out toward the end. But uh, overall, I was very pleased with the kids. You know, with, with the schedule that we played, the inexperienced kids that we had to use this year, uh, I thought they really uh, played hard, and I was very proud of them.
homecoming week is always an exciting time. With the upcoming basketball game pep rally and 20 girls all hoping to be selected for the homecoming court and queen. This year's queen was Kendra Stanley. Kendra, what did you think when your name was announced as the 1994 basketball homecoming queen? I was really excited and nervous, and it's a moment I'll never forget. Thanks a lot, Kendra. The 1994 basketball homecoming queen is Kendra Stanley.
Tornado Gear Titans. I'm a live Tornado Gear. This is not a test. What's your favorite thing, Al? Filing ring. Right here at ECHS. Probably up there at Joe's Pool Hall. Pro I'd say it's probably up there at Joe's Pool Hall. My favorite hangout is the bathroom down here by Mr. Johnson's room. Gas station bathroom. I like to sit up at the pig pen market and sip our thieves and eat moon pies. The Sunfish Mall. Dollars for Ryan Pretty's house. I guess they even come in there all the time. The day I overslept, Miss Linda called me and asked me if I was coming to school. Well, it was when I drove into the home at Minimart. The most embarrassing moment is when I was at Western and I fell and I ripped my pantyhose and I had to turn my dress around backwards. So I've been down to take a drink, and I was while well, I was looking at him, and I stuck the straw up my nose. We was watching a Heimlich maneuver, a video of a Heimlich maneuver, and no one in the class was watching it because they paid attention to me and Michael Thompson. And I got choked and started turning purple, and spit started running around my mouth. And finally, my, the cop, uh, the Jolly Rancher, flew out of my mouth. <laughs> the last embarrassing moment was when me, Meredith, Webb, Arlene, and Cherry Jones 
were sitting on a bench at a softball game in the dugout, and the bench broke. baseball season was my first as head coach. Uh, we had a lot of ups and downs, but overall it was a good first season for me and I hope the kids had as much fun as I had doing it. Uh, overall, again, we were a young team. We were led by four seniors, uh, Gary Moore, Josh Jones, John and Simon, and Brian Duvall. And they'll be missed next year even though they may not think so. But uh, I had a good time with them and again, I hope the kids have a good time next year, and if they keep working hard in a couple of years, we will have a good baseball team. Okay, we had a decent softball season this year. Uh, we had lost five of our top players last year. We were down just a little bit from the team that went to state tournament last year. We had the uh, returning from last year stars were Tyra Parsley, Jessica Slaughter, Stephanie Minton. Uh, Brandy Meredith and uh, Natalie Dahl. Jamie Reynolds was our top hitter this year and uh, probably the most improved player we had. Going in district tournament, we have not been playing very well, but I believe we can be very competitive in the district tournament. We have beaten all the district teams one time and they have beaten us one time. Okay, we're going to be playing two players in the district tournament and uh, top players on the DL list and definitely will not be playing in the district tournament but if we play up to our capabilities we can win the district and the region go back to state but we're going to have to play real good ball. I feel this year's track season was a great success. Our runners and field event competitors showed consistent improvement with each meet, and by the end of the season, Coach Duncan and I were quite satisfied with the progress of our team. Our greatest asset this year was the leadership of our four seniors and our junior, Stephanie Dennison. The majority of our team came from fifth to ninth grades, so their leadership was vital to our success.
The year 94 has been filled with historical news-making events. What news issue has mo was most memorable to you and why? I guess it would be when Lorraine and Bobby... I'm pretty tired of hearing about the Joey Bed of Fuqua and the Fisher story. Uh, when later, Lorraine and Bobby cut... Uh, <laughs> Bobby... <Boop. laughs> oh. I guess it's the death of Richard Nixon. It had to be Tony Harding and Nancy Kerrigan because everybody ran it in the ground. Probably the most memorable, memorable would be the last, what, two weeks ago when Richard Milhouse Nixon died because I really thought he was a good man and a good president. I think he kind of got the shaft, the Watergate, and I do kind of remember him as president. You know. I guess the, the death of President Nixon, he was the first person that I voted for when I voted in the first presidential election ever. Be Rodney King getting $4 million. I let them beat me for $4 million. Uh, Worldwide, Bosnia, the trouble over there, and the war they've been having in, in Africa and all the starving people. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. A time. Do. Things don't always go the way most people think it should. We have mutually decided that I would no longer be the head football coach with the Dallas Cowboys. I've made money, I've lost money. The 23-year-old actor collapsed and died outside a Hollywood night. Kurt Cobain's body was found in... A time for of war and a time of peace. Ladies and gentlemen, the time for peace has come. Well, folks, it's uh, time for another public safety message. Public safety is asked that everybody go to uh, slowly, calmly, you know how that one goes, to the back of the room. There's those glass doors, and there's a foyer in the back. They would prefer that you guys gathered in there for a little while, for about 20 minutes, till this thing blows over. And as I try to make my way to 
I believe you can rise above it. I believe there's a reason for everything. I believe in my dreams. There is a reason for everything. There's a reason for us graduating tonight. First of all, it's our turn. And also to release us from our childhood days into the real world. Are we ready for the real world? I believe we are. Our future is waiting for us, and it will be what we make of it. So, fellow Wildcats, let's show them we can do it. And may God bless you, my friends. Thank you all. For example, I myself have been influenced most by my older brother, Russell Miller. He once told me that I didn't have to be the fastest, I didn't have to be the smartest, and I didn't have to be the best at anything. As long as I was happy, I was the best that I could be. <coughs> this individuality is important. So in closing, my only advice to you in the 1994 class of Lincoln County High School is that each of you use the abilities given to you by the grace of God to the fullest. And above all else, always be true to yourself. Thank you.
tonight, if you haven't already, set a goal and never stop reaching for it.